Did you know that in Greek mythology there was a foot race where the loser was killed? Hello and welcome to World History Encyclopedia. My name is Kelly and today's video is all about a hunter, a fighter and a warrior of Greek mythology, but this time it's a woman. Today we're looking at the life and achievements of the heroine Atalanta. Don't forget the easiest way to support us is by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel and hitting that bell icon for notifications so you don't miss out on any new uploads. World History Encyclopedia is a non-profit organisation and you can find us on Patreon, a brilliant site where you can support our work and receive exclusive benefits in return. Your support helps us create videos twice a week, so make sure to check it out via the pop-up in the top corner of the screen or via the Patreon link down below. Atalanta is a heroine in Greek mythology who, after being exposed as an infant because her parents wanted a son and not a daughter, was nursed by a she-bear before being found by hunters. Her name comes from the Greek Atalante, meaning equal in weight, perhaps a nod to her ability to hold her own against male warriors of Greek myth. The Athenian historian Apollodorus from the 2nd century BCE says that the bear was sent by Artemis and Atalanta was toughened up by being exposed. Her parents' identities change depending on the version of the tale you're reading. Sometimes her father is Skoineus, sometimes her father is Iasos, and her mother is Clymene, and sometimes her father is Menelos. Either way, she's always exposed as a child, no matter her parents. The hunters raise the girl to become a famed huntress, wrestler, and runner. And she is well known from some versions of the myth as being the only female who accompanied Jason on the Argo to retrieve the Golden Fleece. Once Atalanta reached womanhood, she chose to remain a virgin, with some versions of her tale recounting how it was the Oracle of Apollo at Delphi that warned her against marrying. So she swore to remain a virgin and instead became the hunting partner for the goddess of the hunt, Artemis. In art, the heroine is often portrayed wrestling or displaying her skills in hunting and other sports. Atalanta, unsurprisingly, is one of the only female hunters and fighters and is featured in this role in a few myths, with probably the most well-known being the hunt for the Caledonian boar. The Caledonian boar hunt is found in Book 9 of the epic poem The Iliad by the 8th century BCE poet Homer, and tells of how this huge and hairy wild boar with great white tusks was terrorising the city of Caledon, hence the name of the Caledonian boar. The boar was rampaging through the area in Aetolia and was ruining orchards and killing anyone not quite fast enough to get out of the beast's way. The boar wasn't just lost though, it had been sent by Artemis to punish the king of Caledon, Oineos, because he had failed to sacrifice to the goddess. And disrespecting the gods was always a bad idea. Oineos' son Meliega headed the expedition to kill the boar, and he was joined by an all-star cast of Greek heroes and one heroine. Along with Atalanta and Meliega hunting the boar was Jason, Theseus, the Dioscuri twins Castor and Pollux, Melanion, Peleus, Perithus, and a pack of hunting dogs. In some versions of the story, during the hunt Meliega falls in love with Atalanta, and in others it was Melanion. Either way, nothing came of it. As often happens in Greek myths, there were some mishaps during the hunt, including when Peleus accidentally killed Eurytion, and when Atalanta, who, while on the edge of the half-moon formation of heroes, was attacked by two centaurs. Centaurs are infamous for their unruly behaviour and inability to control their sexual urges, but this night was not a good one to be a centaur, since Atalanta easily killed them both. Atalanta held her own in the hunt and struck the first wound in the mighty beast, which was then taken down by Meliega. The boar was sacrificed to Artemis and the hide was given to Atalanta. Two of Meliega's uncles didn't want it to go to a girl though, and after they took the hide from the huntress, Meliega killed them and was then killed not long after by his mother, Althea, avenging her brothers. 
Atalanta continued as a virgin and won fights such as her wrestling match against Peleus, but eventually she consented to marriage after being reunited with her father, who, in keeping with tradition, needed to find her a suitable match. Atalanta wasn't going to make this easy for him though. She needed her future husband to prove himself. And so she said that she would only marry a man who could beat her in a foot race. Challengers who were defeated would be killed. These races were held and plenty of men died trying to win her hand, but none were a match for the speed of Atalanta. Then, with the help of Aphrodite, one man was able to beat her. Hippomenes, or in some versions of the story, either Hippomedon or Melanion, and Melanion may be the same person as Hippomenes. He was given three golden apples by the goddess, and during the race, he periodically dropped the apples on the track, one by one, which made Atalanta pause to collect them long enough for him to win the race. But as was predicted by the oracle, nothing good came from their marriage, except for their son, Parthenopaeus. As some versions say that Hippomenes neglected to sacrifice to Aphrodite, which we know by now is always a big mistake. And so the goddess of love compelled Hippomenes to lie with Atalanta in a temple sacred either to Zeus, Artemis or Rhea, which unsurprisingly angered the god whose temple they desecrated. And so in punishment, the pair were transformed into lions, a fearsome creature, perhaps befitting the end of the life of such a fearsome warrior as Atalanta was. What do you think the moral of the foot race and golden apples is? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our new videos every Tuesday and Friday. This video was brought to you by World History Encyclopedia. For more great articles and interactive content, head to our website via the link below. If you like my sweater, you can find this design and a bunch more in our shop at worldhistory.store, or you can find a link for it down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you soon with another video.